You love shelf bases, I love shelf bases, so in today's video we're making a shelf base city. Now for those who need an intro, howdy raid here, welcome back to an all new video and let's just hop right into building. So shelves are some of the most useful plots in all of 3008, that's why I said everybody loves them because not only do you get a bunch of ladders, you also get pallets galore. There's just so many pallets to build with. If you're in a public server, these shelves are so helpful, especially if you're building to to survive because you can build really high up or really down low and have a bunch of materials now currently we're in a private server so it won't really matter but let's just get to building we take one pallet and first off with this shelf based city what we're going to want to do is actually build upwards now the reason that we're building above and higher up is because once i made like a lower shelf base in a video everybody was like raid no you got to make it higher that's the point of the shelves now, since this is like an actual shelf base city, it's probably going to take a little longer to make, but it's definitely going to be worth it in the long run. All right, starting off first, I guess I could have a food storage house. That's what the first house is going to be. I think I'm definitely going to divide all the houses to have like proper purposes. I think this is definitely long enough for one house, especially if you're doing like food storage, you can store a lot of food and med kits in this. And then in terms of like walking or transporting yourself around the uh, little city, you could use these ladders as like bridges. You're just going to have to like not fall off. I think it looks really 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 cool it's not too futuristic but it definitely fits the 3008 vibe now since we're up in the sky i don't know if we should make like a sliding or a crouching door because those will definitely be helpful but at the same time do we really need them if we're up in the sky like ikea employees can't fly but then again we should always be careful there's a chance that we just get destroyed by an employee if somebody runs up here also i highly recommend you guys to build with friends it's going to be so much more fun because not only are you going to have extra people to help you but it's going to be just a lot more easier in terms of like finding resources and the walls are almost done it's going to look a lot nicer once we have like a solid foundation wait i just forgot i didn't add a roof i definitely need to do that right now I'm going to be real with you guys, as I'm building this roof and finishing it up, a lot of people tell me that pallets are getting pretty boring in 3008, but for me, they've always represented the uh, 3008 aesthetic really well. Okay, now that we've got our roof, we definitely want to add a couple lamps. I don't know what kind to use. As always, I'm probably just going to use TVs. The cool thing about pallets is that they have these little indents in them that are perfect for TVs. Alright, so the lighting is done. It's not too bright. I don't don't like it when it's like super bright because it's just horrible and hard to see Let's do it again okay now it worked that's a little better i definitely like that the uh, little change between these by not having them in one line definitely creates this like blocky uh, lighting now back to building as i said before we're gonna need to find a really good shelf these metal shelves are lifesavers they're always so helpful i don't know if i can just like store med kits on them by spawning them in like that yeah i actually can okay Wait, I'm probably gonna have to put them inside. I accidentally duplicated the med kits and it just makes them all wobbly and fall, so I have to be like extra careful placing them now. I'm also not anchoring them, so I have to place them at an angle where they don't fall off, but they also just like place really, really perfectly when they do fall. What I mean is placing them like that. A lot of med kits, a lot of space, you guys know how it is. So I tried the same thing with Dr. Bob's, but I learned that it's a lot easier when you actually anchor them. They just look so much better so I probably should have done that with this. Okay, so this food storage building is officially done. You guys know we had some Dr. Bob over here, but you gotta have more. Gotta keep that sugar flowing. Then we've got some meatballs, a few pizzas, and then a bunch of burgers. The hardest part about the burgers, especially with duplicating them, is when you press V, they actually duplicate into a tower, so some of them just went flying everywhere. And now I'm actually gonna begin building the rest of this city, so stay tuned and cue the speed montage.
so building is officially done. I've created three houses that I'm actually going to furnish right now. One of them just has an open door. This one's got a sliding door. Maybe somebody would want just specifically a sliding door. And this last house is just really long. Maybe it would be like the mayor's house or something. Now, in terms of decorating, you gotta have a nice bed in the base. I think this base is actually big enough to fit a queen-sized bed. Now, this base isn't the biggest thing in the world, but I still think there's enough space for like a TV area right here. Look at that. Boom, we've got a TV area. Let me actually move this one a little more here. If you guys really wanted to, you could add something like maybe a shelf, maybe like one of these uh, white modern shelves. Those always look good in the base. Look at that. You got the laughability toy, a Rubik's Cube, and a nice M4A1. Now, for this next house, it's definitely going to need a lot smaller of a bed because this base is pretty much like a little mini base. So I added a nice little blue bed. That's actually one of my favorite colors, that and purple. And then right over here, this person might be a gamer because we're going to add a mini TV and give them a nice little gaming setup. Now, sadly, in 3008, there's no gaming chair. There's only like the office chair, which kind of sucks, but you got to do what you got to do and use what you got to use. Now, instead of a PC, we're actually going to add a GameCube to this person's base because it just looks so much more cleaner. Now, for the final base, this is going to be like the survivalist base. This person is the one with the sliding door, so you guys know they're going to be extra careful with everything. Now, this person has a whole entire mural, a little praying area for their lord and savior, and then the rest of their base is a little weird. All they do is sit right here under the lights. It's a bit creepy, but if you guys have that one weird friend that likes to just sit there, this is definitely the house for them. Now, I actually wanted to add this information sign to the food base, just so that people living in the city will know that it's like the food base. And then I wanted to add some lighting. You guys know, we gotta light up the city and keep it bright. And there's also this ladder going this way in case anybody moves in and wants to like add a part to their base. Look at that, we've got a little bit more lighting. Let's actually take a look at the city from uh, wait can I jump here from this way right here look at that we have got a whole city right in front of us never mind this actually looks a lot more like a town but you guys could add more buildings make it an actual city if you're building this just like in the video let's take one final tour we start off with the mayor's house you guys know how it is it looks real nice going down you gotta go inside the GameCube lovers gamer house. They've got a small little house. And then this guy. Okay, we've got Mr. Survivalist. As you all know, not much. He's just a creepy guy. And of course, the final part of the city, the food. There is a huge selection of food. My screen literally begins to lag out when I walk past it. And if you guys ever need any type of building ideas, that playlist that just popped up on your screen has all my videos on different types of bases. Click on it if you're a Chad, and I will see you all tomorrow.